everybody, this is Praxis, and I'm on site today doing something I haven't done before. The past several days has just been kind of more and more of the same. I've been finishing up the electrical work, and at this point, I've got all the rough stuff that I can do myself without my dad being around. My dad has the entire electrical plan in his head and nowhere else, uh, and without him here, there's only so much that I can do because I don't have his brain. Uh, so, but as you can see, boxes are all in where I'm able to put them in. There's wires dangling out where I was able to run the wires. Uh, and at this point, there's no more of that that I can do. So I'm switching gears. I mean, the real goal is to get that electrical inspection done as soon as possible. But there's other longer-term goals, and after that is, you know, the whole occupancy permit. So what I'm working on today is getting ready for doing the sheathing that we can do on the exterior walls of the house. Uh, which we're going to do as soon as we get that electrical inspection done. And the uh, specific part that I'm working on is flashing. This is a little piece of window flashing that I've created up. Uh, I've got just a ton of this scrap stuff from an old project, the 14 inch wide sheets, cutting them into like four and a half inches. Uh, and the idea is uh, the exterior boards will come down here, the window's going to be under here, and this will have the water drip out and over. I've, um, well, here's what they look like. I start, I, you know, these are one of the pieces I cut up. They've got some holes in them here, but as long as I keep those out of the area that's actually uh, directing water, it's not a big deal. Uh, I'm going to clamp this in here, in this little clamp that I made. This is uh, this board attached down to uh, this uh, dividing uh, wall here. And I've got this, which has a kind of a severe angle, so I can uh, kind of pinch it right in there. Uh, while I do this, I want to let you know I got the radon test back. And the results are not terrible, but they're not awesome. We did have some radon in here. Uh, the, what's considered a safe level, uh, you know, I forget what the unit of measurement is, but um, what's considered a safe level is four of whatever the unit of measurement is that they use. We were at 6.8. But I'm not freaking out because we did everything that we could to maximize the amount of radon that is in this space. Uh, the, the test said that you could go in and out of the house while you were doing it, as long as you didn't have the windows open. We didn't even go in and out of the house. None of the doors ever opened. We kept the place closed for three days. And I was running the underfloor blowers just to try to maximize how much radon was in the air so that if there was any, we'd know about it. It came in at that value, and the uh, thing to do at this point is to retest. Make sure maybe it's not quite 6.8. Maybe the test was a fluke. Maybe it's even higher than 6.8. Point is, there was some there. You want to do a retest to find out what it really is. Uh, what I'm about to do here is I've got these guys clamped in, and now I'm going to take the hammer and, well, actually, no, I usually just start with my thumbs and get kind of a rough angle going there, be a little more gentle, and then I'll, I'll tap it with the hammer to get the final angle. Um, so I bought a digital meter for testing for radon. It costs about six times as much as the mail-in tests, which are about $20 each, but with uh, with the digital meter, I'll be able to take tests over and over at different times a day, really get a sense of what it's like here, and find out whether we want to do mitigation measures. Uh, if there is a, a risk, uh, if there is a, you know, too much radon in here, we are going to do something to mitigate that. There are ways of doing that. It's not a huge deal. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want to be doing those things if that test was a fluke or whatever. So we're going to test it uh, during real circumstances and see what the levels really are day to day. Uh, and, uh, and then we'll make a decision from there. But that's where that is at the moment. All right, now I'll just show you what we got here. Is, uh, that is the drip edge. It's going to go over the window like that. And then the next step is I got to do the secondary thing by clamping it in like that. And we've got about an inch and a half space there. And I got a bunch of them to do. That's it. Thanks for watching.